Welcome, Taurus, to your weekly tarot reading. This tarot reading is timeless. Welcome to Wasted Traditions Tarot. I am Tiffany, your friendly, intuitive, empathic tarot reader. Thank you for your support to all of my subscribers. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing, turning on notifications so you don't miss any upcoming videos that I have for you. Taurus, we're going to do your timeless reading. We're going to get your overall energy and then check with Tarot to see what else you should know for what's ahead. Divine Spirit, do tell Taurus's overall energy. You will notice if you've been with me for some time, I will be doing something different in order to bring more uh, content at a faster pace if you will so just stay tuned and I hope that you enjoy everything doesn't resonate with everyone and that's more than okay so please take what resonates with you and leave the rest of divine spirit what is Taurus's overall energy do tell that's too many oh my goodness Taurus you got a lot going on Taurus single card thank you all right, Taurus, your overall energy is temperance. So that is Sagittarius energy. So Taurus, you could have Sagittarius anywhere in your birth chart, right? Come on in here, Taurus. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Cross watchers are also welcome. So the first card that jumps out is interesting with the temperance. You have the nine of pentacles, king of cups, two more divine spirit, two more for our beautiful Taurus. That was two, actually. They did not want to go back in the deck, so that's what's going to happen. All right, so with your overall energy, with temperance showing up for you, Taurus. What I'm feeling for someone, you are seeking, your current energy is a calm energy, you are, you are seeking and intentionally coming into uh, balance and harmony. It's like your intention Taurus is to harmonize your life, right? That is what I'm feeling for you, Taurus, with this overall energy. You want to harmonize things in your life is what I'm getting. So let's see what is here to find out how that all comes together. So out first is the nine of pentacles. And this is interesting that the nine of pentacles comes out as your first card because this card, I'm reading this as your finances or your home or career. So for the nine of pentacles to show up, as your first card out in your in the earth energy, which deals with finances, home or career, your your um, your material life, that earth energy, the uh, everything in the 3D. Right. So with the nine of pentacles coming out for you is very, very um, auspicious and beautiful. This is the fruits of your labor as you're trying to harmonize your life and bring things into balance. It feels like, Taurus, for some of you, you've been working really diligently at something in your physical world. You've been working really diligently at something even in your career or within your home. Maybe someone out there um, is doing renovations in the home or you've been getting your finances in order. Maybe you've been harmonizing your finances by creating a budget and minding your spending, what I'm feeling for some of you. But also with this nine of pentacles, not only is it a, is it the fruit of your labor, but where you're looking to harmonize your life, this shows stability. So that harmony and that st stability that you are seeking is what I'm getting for you in your earth energy, Taurus. And you are an earth energy, okay? You are a fixed sign, Taurus. Next coming up, we have the king of cups. And the king of cups is coming out for your 
the air element. This is going to be your thoughts and your communications. This is very interesting for the King of Cups to come out in this way, in this position for this reading for you, Taurus. Again, this is timeless. Whenever you're receiving this, it is meant for you to receive at this time. All right. So with the King of Cups coming up in your area of thoughts and communications, Taurus, this is you are. This is I feel like this also has to do with your finances. You are thinking about, again, with that moderation, the harmony and the stability, right, of your finances. I feel like this King of Cups is also speaking to that. This is heavily on your mind, right, Taurus? This is heavily on your mind. How to, so, how to get your house in order, so to speak. You have been thinking of the plan. I feel like for someone out there, you've been diligent in actually writing out actionable steps, writing out how you want to attack this plan of uh, harmonizing your life, specifically in the area of your finances. So with the King of Cups coming up here, this is showing very good, um, very good work you've been doing. This is also a part of the fruit of your labor, right? The fruits of your labor, Taurus. So I want Taurus to be mindful of continue to stay in a positive mindset, right? To have the have the ability to bring things in order and bring your finances in harmony. And when you do that, you are allowing yourself to be generous financially. I feel like for some of you, you are on that uh, zero-based budgeting. You are tackling your debt. I That came up really uh, quickly for me just now. Taurus, you're tackling your debt because you want to give generously. And this King of Cups is showing that you have that ability currently or you're moving toward that direction, Taurus. And here we have the lovers coming up. The lovers, this is some Gemini energy for you, Taurus. Anywhere in your birth chart, you have the lovers coming up in the fire element, which is your actions and and your efforts. So with this coming up for actions and efforts, again, this is choices. This is the choice. You must make a choice and act on it. You must make the choice. And, and I'm getting harmony again. There's a lot of harmony. There's a lot of balance for you, Taurus, in this reading. So this is beautiful. It feels like this is working in your favor, Taurus. Yes, it feels like you have been, I'm getting intentional, intentional, very intentional about how you're moving these days. These last, you know, five months of the year, <clears throat> we're past the halfway point of the year and your intentions, you have focused your intentions to have a more harmonious life, to live a more generous life, right? So with the lovers coming up in your uh, fire element for actions and efforts, continue your effort. Uh, of working your plan and reaching your goal of a more balanced, harmonious life, living with moderation, living with with rules for yourself to help you to get to where you want to be, Taurus. That's what I'm getting with this lover's, excuse me, this lover's card coming up, this Gemini energy coming up, making that choice and continuing to make that choice every day. You know your why, Taurus. For some of you out there, you might not have discovered your why yet, but I feel like for a lot of Taurus out there watching this, you know your why. So when you know your why, you come back to it every day and you make the choice to continue to go after your why, Taurus. And lastly, for the water element, this is dealing with your emotions or your relationships. All right, Taurus, we have the four of pentacles. So what I'm feeling with this four of pentacles for someone out there your emotions and your relationships. It feels like you want to conserve your emotional energy is what I'm feeling. You want to conserve. I feel like someone, for someone out there specifically, you're being selfish emotionally, right? You're closing yourself off. Someone out there needs to hear this. You're closing yourself off emotionally with this four of pentacles coming up. And... You feel like it is the proper thing to do to bring you 
back into harmony. And that is more than likely exactly what is needed for someone specifically. This is not for everyone. For someone specifically, you do have to close things off emotionally with a certain individual, with a family member, with a co-worker. The emotions, they have gotten entirely too comfortable with you, Taurus, is what I'm feeling. They feel like because they know this or that about you and they've been close to you for quite some time, it feels like this person believes they can do or say whatever to you. They, It feels like they want to try to manipulate you. Again, this is not for everyone. Take it how it resonates. Leave the rest. But someone has to close. Taurus, you have to close that emotional gate because they're taking advantage of you emotionally. And it, and it knocks you out of harmony. All of the work you're doing here, there's so much balance and intentionality in your reading, Taurus, that this could be dangerous if you don't close the emotional gate. It's not forever and it's not for everyone. You don't have to close that emotional gate on everyone, Taurus, but someone specifically, and I feel like you're going to know exactly who this is. You're going to know exactly who this is, that you need to close that emotional gate and create the boundaries like they're too loose with you emotionally and it's not okay and it causes harm to you and because you haven't spoken up about the harm it's caused you they feel like they can continue to do it right um and it could be um subconsciously they're doing it but if you don't speak up they're going to continue to do it and not realizing it harms you Taurus so close that emotional gate create those emotional boundaries in your life there's a specific person Taurus and you know exactly who it is the boundary needs to be created so that things can improve in that relationship and the overall balance the overall harmony of your life the intentions that you're putting out there and the actions you have been taking they will stay harmonious. They will stay in balance. You will be generous. You have to be generous with yourself as well. Generous with the truth of what you will and will not accept. And that's why those boundaries are important in all areas of our life. Taurus, I hope this has helped you and resonated with you. Please like, comment, share, uh, subscribe, and share this video with someone you care about. I appreciate you. I will see you soon. Until then, take care.